Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we check it out how to make this magnifying sphere with text in After Effects. Step one, create a new comp, I rename it as text. Make sure to be 1080p, 1920 by 1080. I gotta make it six seconds, click okay. I gotta select the type tool, type in whatever you want. For this font, I chose the Acura Expanded. As you can see, the anchor point in the text is right here in the corner. We're gonna need to position it to the center, so press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, so it's gonna jump onto the center. I also gonna press caps lock because the uppercase letters were activated. I gotta zoom out, I also gonna go to the align, align it to the center perfectly press the letter s scale it up all the way from here we're going to go to the composition settings i'm going to decrease the height until it is going to go around the text like this click ok from here we're going to make a new composition right click here click on new comp I'm gonna rename it as pattern. As you can see, the height is down on 146, like here it is. So we're gonna go back to 1080, click OK. I'm gonna drag and drop the text here into the pattern, go to the line, align it to the bottom, go to the effects and presets, type in motion tile. Drag and drop the motion tile onto the text. Let's increase the output height. I'm gonna go with somewhere around 2500. Press the letter P for position. I'm gonna drag this all the way to the beginning, activate the stopwatch, drag it all the way to the six second and we're gonna change the position increase it so basically the animation is goes down and I'm gonna end it something like that it started to animate it from here we're gonna go to the project here right click click on new composition and I'm gonna rename it as sphere click OK I'm gonna drag and drop the pattern into the sphere and now I'm gonna duplicate this press ctrl D and I'm gonna right click rename the pattern as sphere I'm gonna uncheck the bottom pattern I'm gonna go to the effects and presets and type in bulge drag and drop the effects on the sphere and as you can see it's gonna create this little circle we're gonna need to increase that so I'm gonna start with the vertical radius I'm gonna go all the way expand it to the top like that this is somewhere around 490 I'm gonna press ctrl c copy paste it into the horizontal radius ctrl v so now you can see it starts to magnify the text we're gonna need to magnify it even more so I'm gonna increase the bulge height all the way to four and i also gonna increase the anti-aliasing to high i'm gonna click on the bulge press ctrl d to duplicate it so it's gonna magnify it even more i'm gonna decrease it i'm gonna increase it to 1.1 let me see what happens looks something like this now we're gonna go and select the ellipse tool where's the rectangle tool and click on the sphere and go back and as you can see we got the anchor point right at the center and we're gonna create that circle right there I'm gonna drag like that right now it's uh, the circle is distorting press and hold control press shift so it's gonna center it perfectly so this way we are going to create the circle that is gonna be the magnifier I'm gonna decrease it somewhere here we're gonna create another mess with a circle click on the sphere it's going to show up again the anchor point we're going to do the same process create a circle press and hold control press shift this is going to be smaller now we're going to go to the mask too because this is the inner mask and we're going to go to the add and click on subtract click on the arrow to see the options i'm going to go to the mask feathering i'm going to start increasing it and we got the mask expansion i also think to decrease that a little bit more something like mine 46 and it's gonna start animating like this good I'm gonna activate the pattern here I'm gonna uncheck the sphere and we're gonna mask also the pattern so select the circle let's go again to the anchor point create a circle press and hold control press shift with some like this I'm gonna go down to the mask right here let's select the subtract let's go to the mask options increase the feathering I also gonna increase the mask expansion I also gonna activate the sphere so now it's visible and we're gonna hit play and this is how you make this magnifying glass effect in After Effects Thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.